Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install your shark fin on your E90 or E92 BMW. By the way, if this is one of your first times ever seeing my videos, this is my BMW 335. XI, it is the all-wheel drive version of 335i, it is wide-bodied, uh, we're in the process of wrapping it right now, it has a dock race single turbo kit, and a lot more things coming that you don't want to miss, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So one of the main reasons why I'm making this video is because I do not see anywhere on YouTube at all of anybody reinstalling these, I've seen people take them off. Um, if you want to see how I took off mine, I will put a link down in the description below. So basically, what you want to do is line everything up and put it back to where it goes. So the first thing you want to do is rip off the, all this gasket material off your antenna cover. So let's get to that. I'm going to go bring it inside because it's freezing cold out here. Okay, so some things you're going to need to take all this odor adhesive off of your sark pin. You're going to need some Goo Gone to let that rest on there. And then you're also going to need a small flathead screwdriver to scrape it off. So what I'm going to do first is now spray some Goo Gone on there. We'll let it sit for about a minute. And then we'll come back and start scraping it off. Alright, so we let this sit for about a minute or two. And now we can try to start scraping it off. I'm just going to start here in the middle. Alright, that took forever and it got pretty messy, but right now I'm going to clean everything off of here and clean off the table and get it ready to put the new adhesive 3M tape on here. Okay, so now that everything is cleaned off here, I'm going to use my 3M double-sided scotch tape. Um, it's for mounting and it's pretty waterproof, so I'm going to wrap around here. Uh, I would recommend to get the one that's like half the size of this, but this is all they had at my Lowe's. So I'll put a link down in the description for one of these. And you can get this at a Lowe's or Home Depot or Amazon, which will be in the link down below. Now what I'm going to use is this razor blade I have here. I would re recommend using a razor knife because that's a lot safer, but... I have no idea where mine is. So don't do what I do, do as I say. Alright, so as you can see here we have it layered all around. Where I have these meet up. I basically kind of overlaid them, just like really butted up, butted them up against because you don't want any water seeping in through the sides here. It just looks like there's a big gap because it has like a lot of the tape rolling off of it. But anyways, make sure that this is pushed on there nice and neat all around it. And then let's go take this up to the car and clean off the surface of the car and then we can actually put this together. Okay, so now that we're back in the garage with the car, here is our antenna. So we have these four plugs that need to be plugged in, so let's grab those that's in our hole here. Now that we have our four plugs, all we have to do is put it color for color and clip her back in. And now we can shove this, all these wires back in here and then put our screw that goes in the back of this, back into place. Okay, so now that this is on, we want to make sure our whole entire area around this is very clean. And then we can take our cap and peel back our paper. Now that we have all our backing paper taken off, we need to line this up correctly. There's two holes in the back that these two will go into and then make sure everything's straight and then make sure we keep pressure on it so it can actually hold the seal. Okay, so as you can see, this is on there pretty darn solid. 
not going anywhere. Now let's go get our carbon fiber cover that I got for this, made out of full carbon, and let's go throw it on the car. Alrighty, so here is our carbon fiber cover. As you can see, actually has weave in there. Nice little just regular two by two weave. Um, made out of full carbon. Even the inside of it's carbon fiber layered with 3M tape on the inside. And this is just a cover that goes over top of it. So let's peel back our 3M tape and then we'll throw it right on top of there. All right, all that's ripped off. Now let's apply it to our cover. It's a nice, perfect fit on there. Push all around it, make sure it adheres. As you can see, the cover fits right on there, nice and good. Everything lines up correctly and doesn't have any gapping or anything on it. So that's really cool. That looks really nice. And I like it with our nice rainbow metallic flake wrap. You can hardly see it right now. There's a little bit of it. Kind of way better when you're outside. It looks really sick. Make sure to watch that video too. I'll link that down in the description as well. I'm super excited with our carbon. Starting to match the carbon on the rest of the car, as you can see, have carbon fiber M3 style mirror caps. So make sure to subscribe so then you can see more stuff like that. And also, if you made it this far in the video, give this video a big old thumbs up. That's really cool. I'm also gonna install the gasket that goes around the windshield here. Um, that's what you'll get since uh, you guys actually stayed for the video. All right, so here is our new trim. I already removed my trim, got it all cleaned up. There's already a bunch of tutorials on how to actually install this, so I'm not gonna really do a full installation video of this. But I'm just gonna throw it on there for you guys so we can actually get this sealed up. As you can see, we got our seal all around the whole entire thing. It looks like brand new, straight from factory. It is a OEM one, so that sh should, so that's how it should look. All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude our video for today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big old thumbs up. So I'll see you guys next video.